Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you one simple setting that has saved me so much time and it saved me also from making some pretty serious mistakes. I was working on a recent project where I had to deliver five different edits and all five different edits used the same source footage. That means the same B-roll footage. We shot all this B-roll footage for this client and then we were gonna be using the same B-roll footage on each of the clips. And what, it, what I realized when I was editing this is that there's one thing that I have turned on that by default, DaVinci Resolve does not come with it turned on. And it has saved me so much time and I took it for granted because I've had it turned on for so long and I thought I'd come here and share it with you guys. This is called remote grades. Maybe you've heard about it before, maybe you haven't. There is local grades and then there's remote grades. I have remote grades turned on. You probably, if you've never heard about it before, have local grades turned on. And you wanna turn those on to remote grades if you like what I'm talking about here. And let me explain how these two works. Remote grades, when you edit one single instance, Let's say you're editing your clip and you shot a clip of some B-roll of the person talking. That clip, whenever you use that same clip again in the future of that timeline, same timeline, same project, it's already going to be graded to whatever you graded the first one. Okay, so anytime you have the instance of the clip C33222, that C33222 in the future will be graded the exact same way. That doesn't mean if you shut the camera off and then you turn it back on, everything in that day will be graded the same, only if it shares the same source file or the same source footage will it be graded the same. What local grades is, is what it sounds like, local. You edit this one, and then if you use that same clip, let's say you drag it from your media file, then you can edit this one individually. So you can make this one really warm, and this one really blue, and then let's say you like this one really pink. You have three different instances, and each one is edited differently. There is a use case for that, but in my case, I like to have them all the same so that I don't have different ones, and it saves you some time too. So when you use the same clip, and you edit it the first time, every other instance instance that you use that same clip, it's going to be created the same. And let's say you edit this one a little bit. Let's say you add grain to it. That will also add grain to all the other instances, all in your project of that same source file. I'm going to show you how to turn that on because there are different settings that you can do. And I'm sure I can talk about local grades and remote grades for a long time, but I want to save you some time, show you how to turn it on. And then you can decide if you want to keep it turned on, or maybe you like editing with local grades and having the flexibility to be able to do that. So let's jump into the computer and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. So I've got a here a sample project here that I made. I picked a couple clips so that we can play around with them. So let's go ahead and turn it on first. So if you go to the bottom where it says in the settings section here, and then you're going to open it where it says master settings, and you're just going to drop down to the general options on the left side here. Then you're going to go to the color tab section, and this is the tick that you're going to want to tick off. Now it comes on by default, and I know that for a fact, because if I go here and I click default preset, and then I reset it back to and load it, and notice that it changes a couple things. It removes my luminance mixer defaults to zero, which I always like to have checked on, and maybe we'll make another video for that. And then the other one that you'll notice that is already by default is, is checked to local versions for new clips and timeline. That means that when you grab a clip from here and you put it onto your timeline, it's automatically gonna be added using the local version, not the remote version. So let's go ahead and change that. We're gonna de-click that. So now instead of adding the local version, it's gonna add the remote version. And I made a preset here myself so I can load that preset and it's automatically gonna do that. And I have that one set as my default. So I go in here and I said set default preset and then I click set. So those are my settings. So once we do that here, what we're gonna notice is once we add a clip, let's go ahead and add this clip of me editing on the computer. You're gonna notice that right now it's ungraded. Okay, so that's instance number one. So what we're looking for, of course, is this number here, the 2024-1127-FX3. So that's what I mean by file name. So if you have that instance again, again, if I grab that and put it over here, that's two instances of the same clip. But if I were to shoot anything else in that day, and then I would add it like this, that is not the same clip. That doesn't share the same name. Does that make sense? So it's the source file that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and delete that for a second and delete this one here. So now let's go ahead and color grade this version of it. So we'll go into my color tab here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click a quick power gray here. There it is color graded. Maybe I'll take the exposure, sorry, the uh, contrast down just a little bit here and maybe just my highlights down a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now that that's color graded, now let's go ahead and go back to our timeline and then add another instance of this clip. Let's say that's at the beginning of the project and we're gonna add one that shows up later into the, into the project, which is over here. And if we go to it, you'll notice that it's already graded. 
And if I go back to this one, it's already the same. So they're both graded. And if I go into the color tab, you'll notice that if I grade, let's say the second one, and I make this one here, let's say we make it like really blue, like something like that, something crazy. You'll notice that they both get graded blue at the same time. Let's go ahead and push it even further so you can see the changes happening down here. And we're gonna reset that and they're both gonna be changed at the same time. Now let's say for some reason you wanna make one one way and the other one a different grade. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So let's go to the first one here. We're gonna click this one. You're gonna notice that it also has that little pink logo that's telling you that they're linked. So let's go ahead and add another one so you can see what I mean. So if I add this one here, let's add, um, yes, this one here and then me driving the car, great. So now that we have four clips here, you're gonna notice that this one is linked with this one because they're pink. And if I click on the dog one, it is not linked to anything. And if I click to myself driving, that one is not linked to anything. But let's go ahead and grade this one. So I'm gonna put a grade on that one. There we go. And then let's go ahead and grade the dog one. Perfect. So now if we go back to here and we duplicate the dog one like this, and we go back into my color grade, you're gonna notice that these ones are linked, and then these ones are linked, and then this one is not linked. So now how do we unlink them? Let's say you wanna grade this dog one a certain way, and this one a different way. The way you would do that is you would right click this one, and then you would go, instead of remote version, this is the remote version section, you wanna to go to the local version. So what we're gonna go is to go here, and then we're gonna click that, and then say copy to local. You're gonna notice that now they are unlinked, this one here still remains as a remote version because you didn't unlink that one, but this one now is a local version. So what does that mean? If I change this one to, let's say, we wanna make this nice and warm. Oops, wrong node. Let's go into this one and make that a little bit warmer. This one's gonna remain blue. Let's make that one blue, and this one is warm. But now if we go over here and we duplicate this original one, let's make some space over here and put that one over there. You're gonna notice that if I duplicate the one that is on the remote grade, it will continue to be linked. But the one that I unlinked, the one that I made local, is now not linked. Now, let's go ahead and compare that to how it used to be. So I'm gonna delete everything here. Also, if you delete everything and you re-add a file, like myself driving, it is already graded because it remembers what it was. So now let's show you an instance when I take that off. If I go in here and I click add local version for new clips and I save that. Now if I duplicate this, of course it'll be the same. It'll be the same version because I just copied it over. But what happens if I add it from the media pool into here? It's going to have, oh, it's the S log. And this one is the graded version. So now we can see if we go to the color section, they're actually not linked. This one here remains in the remote version because that's what we had originally done before we unticked it. But the new one we added is now only local. So anything that we do into this one, let's say purple, will not affect this clip. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna show you how this would be actually in a practical way. So let's go back to here, delete it, and let's go ahead and take that off so that it's using remote grades. So let's say for example, I'm editing a clip and I've got one long footage like this that is a long shot like this. And throughout the project, I wanna use B-roll. And let's say I wanna show a project, I wanna show a little bit of this on here. Let's go ahead and grade that. Real quick like that, and we'll make it a little bit brighter. Okay, and then let's say later down in the project, I wanna use that same thing again. I might just copy it over, and it's way down here. But sometimes what can happen is it gets really busy here and really messy in your timeline that you, let's say you add some grain to it. So let's go into, well, grain, grain is already turned on. So let's say you turn off your grain or you turn off your halation. That'll be more obvious. Let's say you turn off your halation in one clip, but then you forget to turn off the halation on the other one. In this case, because it's remote grades, you don't have to worry about that. It's already turned off. I can turn it back on, I can turn it off, and it'll affect both clips. Whereas before, if it's local grades and you forget to turn it off in one, you're gonna export one version where one of them has halation and the other one, for instance, would have been a local version and this one does not have halation. As you can see, it's a pretty useful thing to have turned on. I always have it turned on and I always start with remote grades. And then if I have to do anything, any specific shot changes for that clip, I can then turn it into a local grade and then edit my thing locally. But this saves me so much time. It makes me edit so much faster and I hope it's helpful to you too.
If you've ever used local grades or remote grades, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys have as your workflow. If you have any questions about how this works, I'll try to answer all the comments and all the questions that you guys might have about this. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.